I have my one friend who like opened up a carpet cleaning company mm-hmm. and they own like five vans to do the company. Like it, they're doing well. Like they're doing it. They're or, doing it. And yeah. I see them in the strip club every day. That's insane, bro. <laughs> and like they're killing it, dude. Yeah. They're just like literally like our yeah. age. You wait, you're but, you're in the strip club? No, my my friend. Uh, <laughs> yeah. My wait. My friend who like has like a carpet clean company. But you said I see them in the show. Yeah, so that must mean that you're there. Like you're you're watching them with your own eyes. What's going on? Hey, bro? let's cut this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my twins. That's Mary Kate. That's Mary Kate. That's Mary Kate. Look at these twins. That's Mary Kate. That's Mary Kate. That's Mary Kate. Look at these twins. That's Mary Kate. That's Mary Kate. That's Mary Kate. Look at these twins. That's Mary Kate. That's Mary Kate. That's Mary Kate. Look at these twins. That's Mary Kate. That's Mary Kate. That's Mary Kate. Titties out, titties out, just like a pinup. What do you want to do? I think I'm okay. I think I'm good. <laughs> well, We're good. what you wanted a PP? This is weird that the table is right. In the I know. It's like just because, like, I don't. I think I needed that thing, but this is. I just this wasn't on my mouth properly, but we're we're good. We're fine. It's okay. There's a blowjob joke there. Work on it. <laughs> okay, it was on your <laughs> mouth properly. Is that that's a huff jacket? Yeah, it's a huff jacket. Like huff, like. Like with the, the the weed socks? Yeah. That's still around? No, this was from like 2016. For real, but that's also, I feel like that's, uh, yeah, I guess. It, what? It's a 2016. I just feel like that track jacket kind of style kind of became a little bit popular like later. I, get, I guess. But I guess, back. yeah, I think it has been around since like 2015. Like, uh, you like it? Or you wanna... I do actually, I do like it, but I just thought that was so random. I haven't seen anything huff in years. Yeah, I still wear the weed socks. Yeah. I feel like the people who wore the weed socks. Um, what? It was they, they didn't smoke at all <laughs> mm-hmm. or they were full scent and still do it yeah. daily to this very day. Yeah. What are you trying to say, bro? That I was one of those kids. Yeah, so was I. And I didn't smoke yeah, that no, much. I, I never wore those socks. I don't really? think my mom would have ever bought me those socks. I wore them and then I told my parents they were Christmas trees and they believed bro, me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Well, you're a genius. You think so? Yeah, I really think so. You're handsome today. This is awkward now. <clears throat> Do you have AC in here? <laughs> I do. Are you hot? No, but like I hear like AC running. Like we're never quiet enough it's, to. Uh, probably the light. Yeah, I mean, it could be the computer too. Today is our most low energy podcast. I know. I was actually, dude. I've been so tired lately. Like it's getting to the point where I'm like, I'm almost like falling asleep while driving. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you? I have, yeah. yeah. I remember once I did, I was waiting at a stoplight mm-hmm. and I had to turn left and I was like, I'm tired, but I'm just going to close my eyes even though I know I'm not going to sleep, yeah. which is a bad idea. Yeah, no, 100%. And then I closed my eyes and then a car driving by honked at me. Oh, that's so tough. That's embarrassing. Yeah. But you've never like fallen asleep and like swerved a little bit? No. Damn. Like, I, don't think I, I, mean, I don't think I've gotten it that bad, but like I'm afraid it's getting to that. Why? How many hours are you sleeping? I think I've been sleeping like decent, but I just don't think I'm like sleeping like deeply. You know what I mean? Why? How many hours are you sleeping? Like six to eight. Yeah. That's, wait, wait. Why do you think you're not sleeping deeply? Because I'm mean, like I'm just like not going into deep sleep. Like oh, in the REM. Yeah. Is it? Dude, I forget. I did that sleep study. Did I tell you? Did we talk about that? No. What? I did a sleep study where like they send you the machine home because me and me and didn't want to go shoot something in in October in in Texas. Yeah. And it was all about sleep apnea. And they convinced me while we were there. They're like, yeah, you have sleep apnea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're just diagnosing motherfuckers, bro. Like, Even the camera crew? Yeah, literally. Like, so I was like, oh my God. I was like, I need to go get tested. I got fucking tested. And then my doctor was like, I like, he sends me the results like, like online. And he's like, he's like, you're good. With no follow-up. Like he didn't say anything, like anything else, like saying, well, maybe you should come in. Maybe we should look into this. He's like, no, nah. he's like, it's sleep. Like it was fine. Like the machine said, you're good. Wait, why did they say you have sleep out? Did they hear you snoring? No, well, it's just more of like I was just explaining like my, like my symptoms to them. What are your symptoms? It's just like, like never feeling like I'm like well rested. Like and was I it like, the phone thing? Because I remember you said. I think, yeah, I, th- I think I think that is playing into into some of it too, but I don't know. Like I, I'm like, and I'm not sure if it's like if it could be like depression too. Are you depressed? I'm not like deeply depressed, but I think there are kind of like, I think I'm just like in a weird stage in my life right now. What? <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck is your problem, bro? This is why I, I, don't, this is why I, don't, this is why I don't open up on this podcast. Like. In my brain, I was like, show empathy, show empathy. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. Man. What the fuck does that mean, bro? 
I don't know. My okay. bad. No, so um, what are you thinking? Like, what's going through your head? I was like, there's you, a joke here. Yeah, you just got out. so... I don't think I've ever seen you red like I, that before. I also knew to switch to his camera. <laughs> <laughs> so we got okay. that live. Okay, what's, what's going on? What? I don't know. I just... <laughs> Are we going to go deep right now? Like, I kind of want to try. The thing is... Like, I feel, after I just laughed at you, like, yeah, open up more. Like, <laughs> the thing is, I feel I'm bad at, like, giving comfort. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I it's get awkward. Better at it. it's, it's hard, awkward. but I, I feel yeah. you're good at it. For real? You are good at it. I feel like I don't I know vent, what I'm doing. You like, kind of... You're good at making me feel validated. Okay. That's and, real. I like that. Thank you. Wait. Uh, and when you... Oh, Dylan's like, I've never felt quick. that. It says... Uh, ca is it? Does it matter that it says cash full? Yeah, I think that has to do with like streaming. <clears throat> is that on? Is that button on? Like a, the cash or like the streaming button or I, anything like I that? I didn't press record yet. You didn't press record? I pressed the on air button. Perfect. Okay, so like so that's why that's recording? that's why the on air like the on air button shouldn't uh, be on. So we have to redo well, that. The whole audio is going yeah, right. Yeah, we got the audio. Okay. Because okay, that was kind of. <laughs> oh. re rewind to the part. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Start with your depression. I don't want to. <laughs> Talk about being a sad, sad guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the fact that you're like, yeah, I even cut to his camera. <laughs> <sighs> it was on air to nobody. <laughs> Some person in middle can... America is like, what's this? <laughs> the TV just, just reawakes. Just it out of nowhere. <laughs> Dude. I, I was so ready to make that into a clip. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, Dude. <laughs> You know what you could do? It'll be a lot of work for you, Drew. But just draw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Just animate it. Yeah, like. Bill Burr and like Patrice O'Neill. They're yeah. old radio clips. People animate them. Mm -hmm. Dude, so. I, I remember... When, like, the only reason why I wanted to do a podcast originally is because I wanted to do that. I wanted to, to like... Animate like, real stuff instead of just recording it? You no, know, we, we can still record it, but like, let's just say like I'm telling a story. Then we can like animate oh. it. But then, I, but then I realized that once we started editing these, I was like, that's not... <laughs> I already have live yeah. video. I just mean it's just like that's so much work. Like we don't have the money to be doing that shit. Like, you yeah, know what I mean? like, we should find one of those like quiet um, eight foreign exchange students at mm -hmm. COC who animated and they're really talented. You saying you want to take advantage of them? Yeah, that's okay. That's, well, are they yeah. watching this? Oh, they won't know we're taking it. But the thing is, it's like a mutualistic relationship because yeah. they want to animate something. That's fair. And we want. Yeah, I mean, I, we want an I was about to be a dick right now, but like, it shouldn't be that hard to animate. It's fucking. It's probably really hard to animate. <laughs> I remember we were in that portfolio class at COC. Yeah. And then there was like these like group of foreign exchange students. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, we've been working on this for four months. Mm -hmm. Five second loop like of a witch and a cat. Like, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, I'm like, never touching that shit ever, bro. Like, I'm good. Dude, you guys are slackers or yeah. this is really hard? Yeah, for, it has to be hard. There's no way. Because you have to like. I think like now like they have like different things, but you're virtually painting each frame. Like, but, like I'm good. Like I'm good off that. We could um, because we're doing that COC uh, show soon. Mm -hmm. we Maybe we someone. could find one of the quiet Asian folk, like yeah. the ones with they wear like cattails in the back mm -hmm. of their yeah. pants. Or they have like, those? Or they're just like really, 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 really well dressed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those they're like wearing Balenciaga. Mm -hmm. Did you have that in um high school where there was like the quiet girl wearing like oh, a yeah. a foxtail? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she 100%. always had really big boobs. No, I mean, I didn't, that wasn't... Oh, Tina defining, Messina, I miss you. That's crazy. That wasn't a defining characteristic oh. in my in my school, but... That was a girl, she, yeah. rolly bag, and she would always have a jacket a bag. without... She wouldn't wear the sleeves, she yeah. would just put it on the hood. She'd put on the okay. hood, and she'd run around everywhere. Yeah. Was she cute, though? Like, did you like her? She had big boobs, so... That's, that's uh, my question. Yeah, she was... <laughs> <laughs> big boobs equal cute. <laughs> <laughs> she was an angel. What do you think it is? Do you think people run a class? Do you think they actually had something? Like, like run the class? Like, because I feel like whenever I saw one of those kids running a class, they looked like scared. Like something's going to happen if they're late. I don't know. I think, I feel like some of them, they had like, they had like a niche to them. You know what I mean? Like you're talking about like, like they used to wear the tails and everything. And I think if you're, if you're like, you're saying like they had, there was some like they're they on the spectrum. Mm -hmm. I think maybe if they're on the spectrum, like they're not going to. What's the word? They're not gonna like. They're not gonna have like their own niche like that. You know what I mean? It's like, 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 like. How do I explain this? I don't even know if I like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> try, just try. Just, just more of like, okay, let's say, let's say, obviously, like, there's, there's like a style. 
Yeah. Like, you, like you're wearing Huff. There's people that were in Diamond and shit in high school. Like, you know, like just like swag fags and stuff. Yeah. Like, like stuff like that. Like, I feel like people that are like, it obviously depends where you're at on the spectrum. But if there's people that are on the spectrum and they're doing stuff like that, like they're running a class, but they also have a niche like that, like they're feeling and fitting into certain styles. Like if they're higher on the spectrum, I don't think that they would be that they would be dressing a certain way. You know, I mean? like they're only going to kind of dress in their own way. They're not going to try to fit into like something because they kind of like they, they don't really understand that social that's why do we social. always talk about people i know for spectrum. real <laughs> for real let's fucking let's let's get out of this no wait wait wait, wait. <laughs> this was also a defined characteristic yeah. it, asperger's that's on a uh, the spectrum also right yeah yeah i i think one of the key traits for people with asperger's is they like didn't know their own strength okay have you seen that no not really like i remember i would always see You're my one wrestling friend. with them what you just wrestling with them no i remember i would always give like my one friend home who mm -hmm. was it's weird because I didn't realize people had something until yeah. after high school because mm -hmm. I just thought, oh, they're just weird. Yeah. You know, that was like the mm -hmm. only thing. Yeah. But like this guy, I would always give him a ride home when I see him like walking. And then he'd always say, thanks all this. And then slam my door really Damn. hard where it's shaking. Like, yeah. Jesus, dude. Well, and you, I think well, that's one of the. You would just see him like this random dude walking. And yeah, like, it's like hey. if I was on the way, I'm like, oh, that's a buddy. Did you know him? Yeah, I knew him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just from the rides. Okay. No, I had class with him. Okay, I was supposed to say you're just picking up random dudes. Like... <laughs> yeah, Ted Bundy them. Yeah, that's far. But only the nice parts. Yeah, I get that. But I remember, because like for a guy, you wouldn't realize this person mm. on the spectrum is like, could come off badly. Mm. Like they're like, oh, there's a wholesome dude. But for yeah. girls, I've had so many stories. Like my one friend, like for me, me and this kid, mm -hmm. we were cool. And then one of my close friends was a girl, mm -hmm. went to prom with him, like ROTC prom. Mm -hmm. And then she didn't want to dance. And then he tried to drag her feet. Mm -hmm. And then he kicked this kid in the throat. She kicked this kid in the throat. Oh my God. <laughs> but like apparently like he was creepy to so many yeah. girls. She had to get a restraining order. No. She had to get a restraining order. And This uh, was in high school? This was in high school. That's crazy. Do you still talk to him? I think he, I think he likes... Like, I feel like we keep in touch yeah. through Instagram. Like, he likes my stuff. Just get him on the pod. Okay. <laughs> Should I call him? I remember mm -hmm. once I saw him at Sam's Club. Mm -hmm. And then I couldn't get in because I didn't have... Like, it was when I was skating. And yeah. I just had a group of, like, five dudes from the skate park. Mm -hmm. And we'd always go to Sam's Club. But then we couldn't get in. And then his mom was like, hey, come on in with us. And I was like, this is a good dude. <laughs> That's kind of rude. Even man. though he uh, would harass women. Yeah. I was going to say something. But I don't want to come off like... Do it. If... Everything's for the cutting board. That's this fair. is just for us. Well, yeah. I always think this is live broadcast that it's not. Mm. We have a three week period to yeah. overthink it. It was almost live. I mean, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> it was, yeah. It was live to like a random group of people. I don't I just feel like I don't think it's a hundred percent fair to say that he's just like a harasser of women. Because obviously if he's if he's like on the spectrum, it's like a little bit different. Not saying it's justified, yeah. but I just don't think it's something like easily just like bash on him and like throw him down. That's like, true. You know? But because there was this kid in my college who was known to harass women. Mm -hmm. If I bring his name up to anyone in my college, mm -hmm. everyone has a story about him. Yeah. And like, like people repeatedly like, say, like a rap sheet. And yeah, shit. it's a rap sheet. Yeah. And then he would be like, I'd be like, hey, man, you should not chase these women mm. at the park at 11 p.m. Yeah, that's wild. And then he'd be like, hey, man, I'm on the spectrum. Yeah. Come on. Give me a break. Yeah. But I'm like, like the fact that he's saying that. Yeah, that's it's why like, I'm like. No, like. Like, if you know you're on the spectrum, it's like, maybe then, like, you should be at least somewhat aware enough to, like, understand, like... But also, I don't know what the spectrum's that's like. Right, yeah. I don't know if it's, yeah. like, one of those, like, fever at. dreams where you try yeah. to punch people, but then your punches aren't strong mm -hmm. enough. Have you yeah. had those dreams? Uh, that's I feel all like my that's, like, being, like, yeah. having Asperger's. You know what's like, crazy? You know what I was thinking about? There was that one podcast that I, or, like, the clip that I sent you on TikTok, I sent you guys? Yeah. And the guy's like, oh, if you're, like, 4,000... Did you see that one? Or was, it was, like... You're four thousand percent more like to believe that you're like you're a better fighter than you actually are like four thousand percent more in your head. You didn't see that clip. Was it the one? Was it? We'll name drop them. The zero three FM podcast. I, was that their name? The ones that they were just the, getting shit on yeah. the whole time. Like, yeah. What well, what what of them just talked about that? They were, they were like like you're four thousand percent more likely to think you're a better fighter in your head than you are in oh. real life. And somebody was like, "Where the fuck did you get that number at?" <laughs> like, <laughs> is that why they started roasting them? Because that it's podcast, it's podcast. literally like... It's kind of fire. It's like you're at a party you left with a dude you kind of know and yeah, have to have small talk. That's so fucking true, Let's bro. play one of their clips right now. That's so awkward. Drew, could you search up 03FM podcast? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it comes up is crazy. Yeah, like they're popping up. Like they're doing better than we are. Check, maybe show their TikTok. Would you rather be the size you are and have to fight a mountain lion with your bare hands or be two feet tall and have to fight two really aggressive house cats? Mountain lion. 
You think? Yeah. If you're two feet tall, that's crazy. You're the same size as them. Yeah. And they're so much more agile. Like, yeah, they, they, can, they can get around. Like, one can go between your legs, come up over your shoulders. And there's two of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It never lands on like a punch. Just like, all right, that's in the computer. <laughs> Check them out, guys. Really crazy. <laughs> I think I would go with the two cats at uh, two feet tall. You're tall. You'd be taller than them at two feet tall, right? What was the question? I was just looking if there's a punchline. <laughs> That's how I watch clips now. I was looking. I was like, is there laughter, or is this just? <laughs> Am I gaining knowledge? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what was the? What was the? T- it was so you're either you're you your size now and you fight a mountain lion, or you're two feet tall and you fight two house cats. <laughs> but I feel like house cats aren't even that. The crazy. House cats aren't that crazy. Yeah. But two feet tall. But if it's like if because I heard like the. The science from Ant-Man is, like, real. So the smaller you go, like, the stronger you be. You know what I mean? That's why what? he can, like, yeah, that's why he can punch. And my, I remember, because my physics teacher was talking about this, but she said, like, King Kong. Yeah. If King Kong was real, like, he would be weak as fuck. Because he would be so much heavier and shit. Oh. So he would have to, like, you know, like, throw his weight around and shit. But, okay, but what if they just worked out for a bit? Because, like, I, what I if it's, know. like, yeah, right maybe. when they grow, that's yeah. when they're weak? And, like, their muscles... I guess, yeah. But it's not, but I don't think it's not like working out for fucking two weeks. Like, and you're good. Yeah. I guess I would rather be two feet and just mm-hmm. roll the dice because I know for sure my size, I can't beat a mountain. Yeah. Line. There's no, I don't think so I might as can, well have like, fun with it. Yeah. On the way out. Yeah. I would go with the cats. I feel like I could fuck some cats up. Can we, can and we, clip. Can we try to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can we try to like make our own and rendition of like what they just did? Okay. I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Straight face. And okay. Just bring up some of the question. Who's bringing it up? Let me yeah. think. I might just need to be like 30 seconds. Okay. Fuck, Mary kill. Okay. Your mom, your dad, and your th- second Okay, cousin. I feel like that could be really good, though. Oh, well, That's, we're doing bad ones. Well, it's yeah, just, just it's like a, really someone with no substance. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to play another clip for inspiration? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> yeah, show another clip. Play another clip first. I'm going to play this. Do you back or pull into a spot? Oh, my God. God. For the most part, I'll back into it. Okay, good. Because I know this thing, like, people that back into spots think they're better than everyone because they are. Yeah, they are. There is no strategic advantage to pulling into a spot. It's honestly easier to back in because you just go up a little bit farther. Back in, it's easier to leave. When you pull into a spot, you have to back out. And 90% of the time, you cannot tell if anyone's coming. So you kind of have to just go. Unless you're horrible at driving and parking, just back in. Do you back in? Like not even like a cl- class presentations with this. They'd be like, "Why is?" I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to be a dick. <laughs> but like, someone comments. I just feel like I'm too good at conversation to like do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someone comments. Wait, wait, look at the comments. Someone commented. So it's a yeah, getting better was. daily for fire emoji. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a coworker that supports. <laughs> Alrighty. I got one. And there's like someone in quotes, hey man, that's the <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Vans or Converse? Converse. Yeah, Converse are like high tops. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, and they have the low tops, and then sometimes mm-hmm. they have like a uh, collabs with like Despicable Me. Yeah, but Vans are like sometimes they're like off the wall too. Like Yeah, and there's a... That's true. I guess you can't really pick one. Yeah. I and like clip. Vans. And Clip. <laughs> going viral. <laughs> okay, we should try to do it. All right, let's purposely do it. Let's make a let's make another let one make a and then just try to drop that. Wait, let's do something based on what a title would be. Um, like 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 so, moms versus dads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is that a good clickbait one? Who we'll loved you more, your mom or your dad? Um, well, my mom. I feel like there's a connection just because like you get breastfed from her like you're mm-hmm. nourished by and your you mother come out of her too yeah and you come out of her too yeah. but your dad also like teaches you how to drive how to mm-hmm. shave so it's yeah. kind of like i guess it depends on a certain part of your life yeah how do you <laughs> <laughs> we did it this is easy dude what's another one what's another one we can do <laughs> Have you, wait, wait, I feel wait, like wait, I want to chime wait, in, but I feel like the stuff I'm going to say is too, like, it's good. Too, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Have you ever been in a fight? No, I've never been in a fight before. Clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, <bro. laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, how are you dropping 10 clips a week now? <laughs> Just getting better daily, bro. <laughs> and we have to tag them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. So real. Do you think they're... Because we should. I don't want to bag on them because they're probably mm. good dudes. Yeah. But I like, mean, they have to be... They, they know what they're doing. Do you yeah. think like, so? Yeah. Because... <laughs> I think so. Wait, go like to their very first there's clip. There's a certain, like, awareness to it. And I feel like it's genius. You know what I mean? Like... That's cool. Oh, God. It's just like ours. <laughs> yeah, but, with, but they have numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I remember just going down our Instagram one day and I was like, there's too much here. I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's first. Gary B has said the NFTs are like the internet. When yeah. the internet first came out, everyone hated on it. They're like, this yeah. is a waste. It's not going to go anywhere. Now you can't go anywhere without the internet. Yeah. Do you think it's the same case with NFTs? Because Gary B has predicted the internet was going to explode. He's predicting the NFTs will explode. <laughs> Listen, I love Gary B. He, like, I've watched a lot of videos about him. And on him, of course, he's my guy, but I don't know. I don't think it's the same. Sure. I, agree with you. I think, like, no, I think is it coming I think the hype is there for it, and there's also people that hate on NFTs. Um, but I don't know. I just don't think it's the same. Like, I don't think NFTs can become as game changing as the internet, unless, unless there's like something crazy. Uh, like, only one of those gives you access to like free restaurants and stuff and stuff like that is like pretty crazy or like free gyms i know like full send was doing that or like even going on like a yacht party it's it's more so like in in the way that they uh end it like yeah it just ends like it where it shouldn't because <laughs> some people are commenting like the start of my least favorite podcast ever so you think this is all ironic yeah i don't well, i mean i think i have to sit and like actually watch an episode Cause I don't Cause know. I feel like what they're talking about isn't necessarily dumb. Because I feel like it's more like niche podcast stuff yeah. they'll refer to. I think it's just so more maybe of like, why, more like, the why jokes are, on us. Like, why are they clipping certain shit? I think that's the that's the real question. Because I feel like there's a bunch of shit even just without us trying that like, we, we could take from this podcast. And like most people can look at it and be like, why the fuck did they clip this? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, like who the fuck cares? Like, <laughs> I think they're just trying to like start a conversation or something. Yeah, maybe. I think yes. Yeah, so I think I think the, the actual podcast itself is probably it's it's just a conversation. But maybe they just didn't know at first, like, what to clip. That's Like, what? that's just, like, that's what, and then they just kind of, just they just kept doing it. Like, they just fed into it. Are we doing something wrong? I don't know. I think if we're still doing this in two years and our numbers haven't really changed. It's time then, to then, get then, a job. Then, then, then maybe we can take a step back and be like, okay. We have to go follow what's, what's 03 going FM. On? That's true. Yeah. Well, uh, put a calendar on, Drew. For in two years and just say, <laughs> are we more than how many ever subscribers yeah. we have? Set a reminder. It's 500. A reminder. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah no, th there was that one I was telling you about. There that was that girl where she was just like going off. Like she was talking about relationships. But it was the most general shit ever. What was she saying? She was just like, I just hate talking stages. And like she kept using the word like. I and feel like we do that. I yeah, think ever since I do but, the subtitles, but I realize I, but where... I, I, I don't even think that was the issue. It was just more of like, it's imagine me like just going off about like, you know, I feel like a lot of people just don't get it. Like we just, we need to drink water. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, oh, like you come here to say a message. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like obviously we need to drink water. Like, imagine you know what we I mean? came like, in this with an agenda. Yeah. It's like, we come on here to preach and shit. Like, <laughs> you want to try? What do you have? What do you I'm have to get down, off your Let chest? me see. Um... Yeah, bro. I just feel like I feel like guys just need to treat their girls better, bro. Yeah, I know. I feel like so many people are kind of are, haven't been disrespectful, and I feel like K-pop music today, mm, dude, has really uh just talking about just like fucking bitches all the time. It's like, bro, like they're more than that. Find a wife. Yeah, you know, rap about that. Rap about somebody that's gonna hold you down. It's because everyone kind of dances to like this misogynistic mm -hmm. music. Like I remember it's I heard crazy. Baby Keem say. Uh, what's your favorite color? Mine too. Mm -hmm. Just to get the pussy. I'm gonna lie to you. That's crazy. And people bro. agreed with that. Yeah, and it's like, you know, like, like I get it. If, if that's what you're doing, like, that's fine. That's, that's on fine. you. Yeah. You know, but I'm here to find some substance. Yeah. I'm here to find something real. I'm here to find somebody that's gonna hold me down for the rest of my life. Like, I'm out here like, you know, we got this podcast, bro. And a lot of women out there, like, they talk shit about some shit like this, you know? Mm -hmm. But I want somebody even, like, even... For somebody to look at this and be like, you know what? Like, we're doing something. Like, they're good dudes. Yeah, you know? Like, I, I just, I want somebody that's going to have my back. Do you think you have that right now? 
No, I don't. Ah, oh, jeez. Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> She's watching this like, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? No. You asked about my depression, and then we just jumped right over it with you. <laughs> Guys, talk about it. What's, what's I don't going even on? want to talk about it anymore. I feel bro. you That's do with the, with the fact that you brought it up again. There must be something. You keep talking. <laughs> you keep fucking uh, talking. Fine. About you got a fucking mic in front of you. Use it. Uh, yeah, like. Just in case we didn't, you, we, I cut out the audio part. But you wanna, oh, no. When I talk about like mm -hmm. what just happened earlier. What did happen earlier? Jared was blabbering about his sadness. Yeah, just, <laughs> no, what did I say? And then he started laughing. Like, he just said, I don't think I'm sleeping well because it might be my depression. <laughs> he just burst into fucking laughter. That's crazy, bro. That's insane. For What's real. going on? Come on. I, I want to get better at, uh, yeah, you I guess, better empathy? empathy. Wow, Jinx. Yeah, I don't know. I think... I... <laughs> I don't even feel comfortable talking to you anymore. Bro. I want to try. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm okay, joking. you know what? No. You know what's fucked? No, no. Oh, what no, were you gonna say? I was with, I was with this person, mm -hmm. and then this person was talking about like how bummed they are mm -hmm. and how hard everything is right now, and I was like, "Damn, that's crazy!" Like I don't, because yeah. I, I think what it is is unless we've had like a friendship for a long time. Yeah, it's like weird. And like up, it's yeah. weird. I'm like, oh, I. Well, what 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 like cued them to like start talking about that though? Did they just started like trauma dumping on you. Yeah, it okay. was that. That's kind of tough. There was like, I hate my because like like a lot of the things they will mm. say it is relatable to an yeah. extent, but like if we're not close like that, yeah, I'm gonna be the that's crazy yeah, guy. Yeah, like oh cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, but you go. All right, but um, let me practice being <clears throat> okay. a good person. Yeah, no, I just feel like after doing like videography for like two years, and then the no <laughs> fucking way, bro. <laughs> No fucking way. <laughs> All right, go. Here, let me just... I won't look at you. <laughs> what kind of practice is that? You're not going to look at the person? <laughs> so, All right. she, she died. <laughs> <laughs> That's too inside baseball. All right, go. Talk about your depression. I just feel like... I, it's like I can't even be mad, like for oh. real. <laughs> that's the thing that sucks. Like, <laughs> and that's why I might never change. I might never change. This is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I think my friends, like, friends, will always say like dark things, like mm -hmm. what they're going through, and then I'll always help, but I always try to find a punchline mm -hmm. to soften it. Yeah, and they laugh, but if they get mad. And they wish their right to have yeah, well, I think it's people just, right it's, to be it's mad just, if I make just, a joke about... It just depends who you're doing it to. That's what like it is. Reading the room. But like, like if they get mad, I'll be like, oh, fucking all right, whatever. Yeah, for real, you're fucking lame. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> good luck with your dead grandma. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Because I was literally thinking that same shit in my head right now. What, like, dead I was, grandma? I was going to say that, but then I was like, no, nah, it's too dark. Oh. And so that was real. That's crazy. We're fucking lame. Okay, let me know if this... <clears throat> I don't know if we'll... Okay, all right, all right. So basically... I was going to hook up with this girl. Mm -hmm. And then, so I have this Catholic guilt. Yeah. Where if I jack off, I think like the next 24 hours, it's going to like, I'm going to be fucked up. Like yeah. God's going to kill me. God's yeah. going to punish me or like punish anything that I jacked off to. Yeah. And then, so before we hooked up, I made this a bit. I said, before we hooked up, I jacked off to a nude that she sent me. Mm -hmm. And then when we were going to hook up, she texted me, never mind, can't make it. My aunt died. And then I was like, ah, oh, fuck. It's my fault. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's crazy. And then I kept saying that bit. And then my friend Nick was like, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a funny bit. And I'm like, do you think she'll get mad? He was like, that's a real person. I was like, <laughs> I was like yeah. And he's like, holy shit, dude. He was like, yes. Yes, she'll be mad. Like, you, so I, should, I don't know. I don't know. I think you should talk to her. I don't think she'll like that bit. <laughs> okay. That's pretty wild, though. That's, that's wild? Crazy. Yeah. All right, well, we'll see how it does. I don't know. I'm not saying like the bit is wild in a sense. But I'm it's just, just the just fact that, that I used yeah. it as paint. Well, no, I'm just I'm just saying just in general, like the fact that you're saying you have this guilt and then that happened. Oh, okay. Like just the situation in general is wild. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah and then, I, oh, I, no. I, and then I also had this other thing where when I started doing stand up, 
in college, mm. my first roommate, I asked him if he wants to do stand up with me, and he says, "No thanks, I don't want to embarrass my parents like you do." No. He actually did say that, and he was like this like, like asshole. No, no, like, like he was an like like seriously, he would say like those slight jabs that would yeah. sound like friendly, but like no, that was condescending. Yeah, that was disrespectful. And like really. I, I moved out after because I'm yeah. like this kid's like an asshole, and he was like so condescending. Yeah. And I remember my other like tag to it was like, now I jack off the photos of my ex roommate. He said that? No, I say that. Oh, okay. It's just so. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. I was still, I was like trying oh, to wrap no, my head around it's all okay. that. It's okay. I'm that's trying to work, Do you still talk to him at all? Like, no, I remember I unfollowed him. Like, I'm that yeah. cool. Yeah, no, no. He that's, wasn't a that's good dude. That's weird. Yeah. That's like, yeah. I feel like I'm grateful because I feel like I haven't ran into anybody like, like too snarky like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know. I think I'm also, I'm like very like, like, I think the second I get like some kind of weird vibe from somebody, like, I'm like, I'm immediately like, I can put like walls up with people and shit. And I, I can like, like not like straight up like, oh, like I don't want to talk to you, but like I can, like, I, 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 I distance my, myself from people and shit. Oh, uh, okay. I think yeah. it was just because I was randomly yeah. roomed with this Yeah, I know. Yeah, 100%. Guy. Yeah. So it's like, it's a way different like dynamic and shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I feel like I used to deal with that shit like in high school. Damn. Did it ever make to, you like depressed? No, nah, I wouldn't say depressed, but it used to just like bother me. So I'm just like, why the fuck are people like that? Like, why uh, the fuck do you, you know? Like, so it probably wasn't funny. What was that? Are you trying to? What's your depression about? Uh, okay. <laughs> I feel like right. what I was gonna say, like, how about to help all this, like, practice? Mm -hmm. We have all this describe something that's bothering him. Yeah, and that's you fair. Can yeah, show him how yeah. oh, to fuck. talk about it. Okay, yeah. this is real. Okay, so I got to work today, and they were like, Hey, you got out of work? Or you no, got to I went work? into work today, oh, yeah. and then my boss was like, Who's really good, dude? He was mm -hmm. like, Hey, um, hours are cut. Uh, you can, you're only gonna work one day out of the week now. Damn, fuck, you're good. I'm, you said fuck I'm good yeah, <laughs> how does that make you feel At how many first, days were you working before five, five yeah it was five days and now you're only working yeah, one? Now one that's a told big me, ass like, yeah. they said like starting Monday what happened like what was the they issue just because I like my main job was like delivering the COVID tests from the set to yeah. like the testing center but they're like we're not gonna do COVID tests anymore damn and I was like well heads Bruh. up would have been cool yeah reach out to some friends Get COVID from somebody. <laughs> go to set. <laughs> just kidding. Yo, Come on, bro. Was gone. <laughs> you're just, you're, you're really just Wow, not, that's good. You're just not about it, bro. Your, uh, work, your work ethic, you're like. <laughs> uh, gee, watch, if this happens, like if a, it really oh breaks out for this God, TV they're show. Blame you they're going <laughs> Guys, it wasn't me. But if I'm, I was just talking shit. It like, was I, him. <laughs> that sucks, though. That's yeah. so tough. Like there isn't any like other position for you to like kind of like. That's what I was asking. Yeah, but um, but I was kind of like, yeah, I've, I've been. I feel like I've been saving, so it's not gonna yeah. be like crazy. Because so. it was different, like post college, it was like being broke, broke, yeah, and then looking for jobs. But like right now, I've kind of have like, what what's the word like buoyancy? Yeah, or like a, yeah, what's the thing kinda... when you're in a pool and then there's a round thing around you? Floaty. Uh, like a floaty. Floaty. Yeah. I guess that's the I word. Buoyancy though. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I have like yeah. a floaty for a bit. Okay. And like a uh, life preserver. Yeah, a life preserver. Yeah. So like I'm not as stressed and I feel like mm -hmm. I think I could do it. I'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. Are you like looking for something else right now or do you yeah. think you're just gonna Okay. That is so tough. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. How about your turn? Now, yeah. See, look how good he is. What did you learn from, from that experience? Yeah, what did you um you know what's crazy i walked into work and i'm like damn i'm so glad i had like these trash jobs mm -hmm. like my smoothie job mm -hmm. and my like tour guy job yeah like odd jobs trash jobs to be like thankful for this job because yeah. every day i was like so oh like this is damn. so sick i have this job and, and i was stepping and i was like no yeah and i was like i was like <laughs> thank you god of the universe for this to, so i can more thankful for yeah. my current job step in they're like hey come in my office i was like god <laughs> damn it dude. that's like you're like you shouldn't be speaking shit in yeah. existence. Like, yeah, yeah. No, it was like, like i i i could never say i took it for granted because yeah. i was thankful every day no that's real yeah so, uh, that's so sick yeah i feel that that's how i feel my job right now that's cool like i feel like it doesn't pay too well but it's like i don't ever like dread going there that's cool yeah like, it's like it's super chill but i feel like that's like that's the kind of something that like i i feel like i was doing videography for so long and like i fuck with videography but it's so inconsistent and it's almost like it's dangerous and shit. Yeah. Especially when you got like crazy bills to deal with. Because there'd be there would be months where like I'm touching thousands of dollars and then like there'd be other months where it's like I just barely made like maybe like a hundred to two hundred dollars more than like than like what my bills like were owed and shit. Oh dang. You know what I mean? So I feel like like with, with that constant roller coaster, like that shit was like fucking with me like like pretty heavy, like mentally. And then I feel like now literally like after this like this month, like I, I think like, I started working that job in January mm -hmm. and like I, I didn't do any videography and I started literally this week. 
and like just along with videography like i think i made i made more money like than i would like in a whole month like in one week like at the school and then i still i still got like i still got like i'm doing a gig with e-man this weekend too mm -hmm. like so i just had chicken out of nowhere and i realized i'm like i fuck with videography like it's dope but I think the only thing I just I can't do it so like by itself. It's yeah I can't do the because uh, I thought I could have the cool mm -hmm. life of just like doing this really really smart part time mm -hmm. and then trying to find side gigs. Yeah. But that's such a that's scary. Yeah. And yes. I like the consistency like knowing like oh I know I'm gonna get this amount of money exactly yeah and I can I have a set schedule yeah. instead of just that's, yeah it's going like in it's, open yeah, water hundred percent because I feel like I was drowning the whole time dang and it fucking sucked like and I feel like now like I'm still kind of going through it but I think like after like because I, I think that's a big thing that kind of fucks with me is like having money mm -hmm. but. I think I don't know. I think I'd have to like check in with you again, like in a month, and like see how like see how things are. Hey Drew, put down the calendar. Uh, <laughs> check in with Jared's depression. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> see, that was good. See, I kind of. I think the main thing yeah. is when people vent to me. I'm I'm scared of what I'm gonna say rather yeah. than just being a good listener. Yeah, that's but right. yeah, that's, that's so real. That's just being a good listener because yeah. I remember. My one friend was like in what, what's it rehab mm -hmm. and he's going through it. Yeah. He's good now, but like he would like vent and like I would just say quotes like, oh yeah, man, one, one day at a time. Day like, time. I don't know what to say. Yeah. He's like, he's probably like, what the fuck? So real. Like, I'm like recommending books. He's yeah. like, I've read Cats from the Rye. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> man, have you thought of just like not drinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do it like every weekday, For dude. Real, bro. It's so easy. Like, it's, yeah, it's not hard. Like, it's okay. That's crazy. You know what's been kind of hitting me a little hard lately? What? Like, it's very random. But like the fact that like Juice World like died and like OD. Yeah. I feel like I wasn't like a big fan of him, but I've been listening to like some of his music lately. And that shit is though he's so sad. Yeah, and it's all freestyles. Yeah, for real? Yeah, every I single song he did is freestyles. That's insane. There was like, I remember he did on Tim Westwood TV. No fucking way. It was two hours straight freestyling. Mm, and it's amazing. like, and I listen to it like yeah. in the car sometimes. Because it's all really it's good. good. Yeah. There's a line he says, he's like, he's like, these like, he's like, some somebody's narcotics are gonna kill him. And like, and if it does, like his mom's never gonna forgive him. And I was like, that's yeah. so tough. I don't know why bro. rappers rap about that. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think it's just real. Like, you know, it's I mean? real, like, but it's also like I feel like you're kind of manifesting it. That's true. Cause I see that like Mac Miller had mm -hmm. lines like that. He was like something about hoping I don't join the 27 club, but mm -hmm. then he joined the 26 club. Is it, that means like dying at 26? Yeah, the 27, 27? club is okay. like so many famous people have died at 27. Oh, yeah. shit. Okay. I didn't know I that. I think it was Whitney Houston. Mm. Whitney, um, I thought Whitney Houston was no, no, way No, no, not Whitney Houston. Can you search that up, Drew? Who was in the 27 club? Not Mac Miller. That shit is, yeah, that shit's like, like super depressing though. I feel like I, this is going to sound so dumb. I feel like I kind of had like a, like a lack of empathy for like addiction and stuff for a while. Yeah. But I think it's obviously, it's like, it's not understanding it. And I think, like, obviously, this is the part that sounds stupid. Is like, I fucking, I feel like I've just, like, I've talked to you about it, just being so addicted to my phone. Yeah. And I feel like I get it. Like, obviously, with how kind of, like, different that is, like, I understand that. But at least just, like, it's giving me some kind of, like, perspective in that. It's like, yeah. I feel like I can't even fucking put my phone down. Imagine some shit that, like, you're actually putting into your body. Yeah, and you like, get, that, like, like controls. Yeah, Wait, you so actually there was need, that you actually need and shit. Janis Joplin. God damn. And then there was, who else did you see in there that was notable? Oh, it was Kurt Cobain. Oh, damn. Um, What's going on at 27, bro? I don't know. That's why everyone's like, this is weird. Was it Amy Wine? Amy Winehouse was 27? I thought she was way older. Yeah, Amy Winehouse, 27. That's crazy. She was sexy. I never really found her attractive. I think she was sexy. I think, have you seen that movie, Disaster Movie? Yeah. Well, actually, I haven't seen it, but I remember it. You, you know, you know it's, it's, like, it's like the parody movies? Yeah. Yeah, like she was in that. It kind of like, like, I don't know. They like really like... They made her seem like nasty. Oh, really? And that was like my only perception of her. Like, oh, yeah. She looks sexy there. She looks I mean, like yeah, she'd I, be a manager yeah, at a yeah, Journey's yeah. shoe store. I can see that. I'm not a big fan of the hair, but yeah, she's 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 pretty attractive. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah. the withdrawal, because I kind of feel it. But the, the difference between the phone and drugs mm -hmm. is like we know not to do the drugs, so we don't do them. Yeah, but like phones phone is like is an everyday so thing. Yeah. yeah, but that's like crazy, I yeah. feel like things like painkillers. Because mm -hmm. I think I was watching a podcast and they were saying like, if I had to like if I had surgery and then I got like mm, prescribed, yeah. what do you have there? You have oxy oxys, mm. and I know that's addictive. Yeah, it's oh, it's opioids. There's like Percocets in there. Yeah, like yeah. those are like the over the counter drugs. Like those are easy mm. to get. Yeah, like into. On. But like if it's like something like crack, mm. I feel like you shouldn't try it in the first place. Yeah, well, I think but that's, that's just, also like yeah. I don't know because exactly, we. Yeah, well, I think that's just more of like obviously it's like you're. You're doing shit to like mask like how you're feeling yeah like you just want to feel good so you like you you go to like shit like that that's easy 
to get and then you're kind of like damn like i don't know like it's like you get to a point where like it plateaus yeah where you feel like it's not really hitting like as hard as it as it was so then like you feel like you need to like move to something else like yeah which like sucks but but like no one does crack once but i've yeah. heard but heroin it's described as a million it's a million times better than an orgasm you're lying yeah so like isn't that <sighs> Sounds so funny. <laughs> it, it does. It does it's sound hard. really good. That's why, because I remember I said I was like, if you found out you were dying, like you wouldn't mm -hmm. want to try it. I would. Yeah, like come on, I would try it for sure. But should then you get like a sweat. Like, should they have it like hot in hospitals, like just like ready? Yeah, like at death, on death row, people know. just ask for heroin for their last meal. Low key, could you do that? I don't know. I don't think so. That would be so fire. Like, <laughs> hey Drew, can you search up if you can do that? <laughs> Thank you, Drew. <laughs> can you do heroin for death row? Or can you request heroin? Can you request heroin at death row? That's close enough. <laughs> Botched executions? God damn. That's, that's probably... Uh, that is probably, no. yeah. probably Okay, yeah, and there's no good result for that. I feel like no one's really asked that question. Yeah. Except the prisoner who asked for it. Do you believe in death row? Yeah, it's there. <laughs> Clip. <laughs> that's that's, that's a, my whole brain is on zero three FM type of clips, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I'm not on it. I'm not for it. Yeah. Because I feel like people who are wrongfully convicted. It's fucking wired, yeah, well, I don't think it. I think it's like you're there. It's like there's like without a shadow of a doubt. It's like you know what I mean. Like there's no like. At least I think I hope. No, but like the movie Green Mile's about that. Like there's oh, a percentage. Real? Yeah, there's a percentage oh, of people shit. who are for like sure. They find out later. And yeah, because like, like there's people on there like since like the 80s or like mm -hmm. 70s where like technology wasn't. That's crazy. There. Yeah, exactly. Like, I feel like the, the only thing right or wrong. I've been watching Law and Order, like SVU. Have you seen it? I've only seen that Snapchat filter. <laughs> so what's happening in the Snapchat filter? Where it's like it would be like you could do a video of someone and like then chased? press Law and Order, and then like the intro titles would come in. Oh, that's kind of sick. Yeah, that was like 2018, though. Oh, that's but that's my cool. only point of reference okay. for that show. You should watch it; it's really good. Okay, it's like insane. But like, like there was an episode just about like like death row, and I'm I'm I'm, gonna say I'm not for it, but I think the only thing I can like somewhat see is like feel like justified by it is just like if there's like a like a serial killer. That's just been like that is just so dangerous to like keep alive and shit. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like that's like the only time I can feel like at least in my heart that I can feel like it's like somewhat justified. But I feel like everybody else, I mean like family guy made a joke of it. And then like Brian goes like Republican and he's like, What? He's like, Yeah. He's like, I believe in the death penalty. He's like, he's like oh, I'm gonna fucking botch this joke. But he pretty much says he's like, Yeah, he's like, he's like, we should kill people to show them that killing's wrong. And I'm like, that's so fucking real. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think Wait, are you pro death? No, I'm not. I'm oh. not. No, I thought I thought it was real, like how ironic it was, like mm. to make add more context to that. It's true. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you have like habits that like you do passively, mm -hmm. and yeah. then you don't notice you do it until you see you recording yourself just chilling? Yeah. I've been doing that with lip bites and going mm -hmm. like this. Mm-hmm. Or was that like to flex your jaw? Like Defle yeah, flex my jaw because mm. like I think ever since masks, my jaw has just been mm -hmm. restricted. Do you? Wh what do you have? Uh, so I have the nose thing that you've so disrespectfully <laughs> pointed out. <laughs> the, the this, the yeah, the the nose thing. We talked about that, right? Yeah, like, I think yeah. we did. You know, like, you know where it stemmed from? Glasses? No, like I just like I was like, like oh, in eighth grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, some girl told me like I had like bad breath, so it scarred me. <laughs> so I would always like breath. I would always try to smell my lip, and then it just like so I would always do that and then it just kind of like evolved into me just like scrunching my nose that's crazy how mm. her one comment just affects you for the rest of your, your life. life but at the same time it, like to be fair like my breath did smell so it's like not on her like, that's nice of her to point that out yeah though. well i mean it was, kinda, nice. it was very like dramatic how did she do it because we were having a conversation and she was like oh oh she was like your breath smells oh. I was like, oh my god what do you bro? do just <laughs> for her, i was like <laughs> I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I like, moved away from her. Like, was it a group of people? No, it was me. We were just sitting in class, and she was just sitting next to me. Like, That's interesting. So it wasn't even for a crowd. It was no, just I, yeah. But so, but I, think, I think it was just her, her reaction. That was just so, The smell would be putrid, yeah. and I never used that word. My, vo <laughs> my vocabulary isn't that good, but it's good enough to know that breath is putrid. It's so real. 
Why? Yeah. What was it? Did you just not brush your teeth? I don't know. I think I just hadn't like gotten a new toothbrush in a while. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Nothing. What, Dylan? <laughs> <laughs> Say it with your chest. I just had a funny I was, thought. I was I was thirteen, kid. like uh, I was a baby. Uh, <laughs> No, fuck you, bro. I love 13. Her, I love her reaction. You're jacking <laughs> off by then. <laughs> Dude, so I also have like, I think I, I did it like 20 minutes ago. So I like, I've been wearing like headphones like for a long time, like just playing Xbox and stuff. And I would always have headphones that were kind of like, they didn't really fit right. They were too big. Mm -hmm. So I'd always like shake them to like make them like kind of sit right on my head. And that became like a tick. So even right now, like I did it. Like I didn't, didn't need to do it, but I just felt like I needed to do it. Like I like shook my head a little bit. Like, Okay, if any of us sees any of our ticks, we have to point it out. But if you're pointing it out, it makes it so much worse. No, but it trains you to, to stop. For real? Yeah. I just feel like it makes you fix on it more. Like. No, but like I feel like now, because like we do it passively where we don't realize mm -hmm. it. But like if we call out, like mm -hmm. we'll do a safe word. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. What do you want it to be? Spectrum? Yeah. Cut it out. That's too long. <laughs> um. Tick. 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 Yeah, yeah, we, we can just, just say tick. tick. That's good. Tick. That's a good one. Tick. Okay. Okay. You two doing? If you Dylan or Drew, if you yeah. see it, would you guys have any? I'm sure. I mean, you don't like none, none that come to mind though. Is it not eating meat? Uh, yeah, that's a big tick. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. What about you? Do you have anything? I don't know. You can just watch all the footage on that camera. Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> keep it on here for a while. <laughs> Do you have any more other than like the jaw thing? Um, I think my neck, I'd like stretch and then it cracks. Mm -hmm. And I heard that's bad for you because it could affect your spine in the long run, but I'm yeah. not sure if that's Dude, true. Dude, they say everything's bad for you. Yeah. They're Every like, time oh. I search up if I'm sick, it's always yeah. I have ball cancer. Literally. I'm always like, I'm like scrolling on Twitter and somebody's like, stop breathing oxygen. It's unhealthy for you. And I'm just like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Same like, with breathing out of your mouth. Or, yeah, but see, I think that's true. Because mm -hmm. apparently like if you do it in the long term, it reforms like your jaw. But like how? Like, Cause I like don't get the that. nose filters out the air and then the mouth is just straight yeah. raw air. I have allergies though. So it's like my nose is like always congested. Oh. So it makes it really hard to like not breathe out of my mouth. Okay, fine. Be a mouth breather. I don't want to be though. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of a, a take that I have. Because I, I have glasses, I always just like push it in. Mm -hmm. But today, <laughs> today I uh, was talking to somebody and uh like one of my coworkers, and i like another i guess another tick i have is like if i notice the smudge i'll take it off and i'll start cleaning it because i have mm. quite a cloth on my keychain so i was cleaning it and as i was cleaning it like the lens like pops out oh. and, and i just like kept cleaning it as he was, talk <laughs> as he was talking to me and i was just like oh damn it like i gotta like i gotta just like do something to be like oh oh no my lens on my yeah. on my glasses but he just kept talking, so I was just Damn. like, uh, "Wait, so what you are, you're you're saying that it popped out, and you like you acted like it didn't pop out and shit? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. so awkward." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know up to it. I noticed he like looked out at me too, like 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 he's, he's wiping that, that guy's wiping for a long time. He's wiping his lens for a long time or his glasses. Like, bro, yeah, this happens. It's okay. Yeah, like, I feel. I think what awkward. else I do? I feel like I have a lot. I think it kind of comes because I, I feel like I can't even like sit still. I was like watching them. I was at the movies one time and I feel like I always just needed to be doing something. Like I feel, I remember our Ron Mita. Mm -hmm. He said, our film teacher, our old film teacher, he said like, if you're moving around in your seat during a movie, it just means you're not as engaged in that movie. I don't believe that. Yeah, like, I don't. Regal has like some trash seats sometimes mm -hmm. when yeah. I work there, especially. And like, I don't know. I would always be wiggling, yeah. wiggling around. Yeah, I think I could be engaged and still like, I just, it's not even like I'm like looking for like a distraction. I'm just like, it's almost just like I need to like scratch my face. Like I need to like touch no. something. You know what I mean? Like, right, let's try to stay as still as we can. I, I feel like I can. It's like, yeah. I think it's just also that comes down to fucking bring this up so much. You just need to meditate more. Oh, have you been meditating? I have actually been like getting back into it. Like, last for how two long? Weeks. I'm doing it because I mean, like, the fact that I've been like sleep, like so sleepy, like I'll meditate and I'll just fucking fall asleep. So you've just been it's sleeping? so fucking annoying. That's not yeah. meditating. I just sleep. I mean, I'll, I'll meditate for at least like seven minutes and then I'll fucking. <laughs> Is that how you sleep? You just... Yeah. Crisscross. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to sit still. I wouldn't say that's a tick though. I think that's just more that's of like more a. That's more of a, a sleepy time. That's a nap. 
Oh, I was talking about more of like the needing to move and stuff. Oh. But... So, Jared, how is uh, work? Work? Yep. It's great. He doesn't want to talk about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk about it a little bit. I started working at this place. We're working at a school. And I honestly, I was just there to like Network. just have some, like not even that, just have like some structure. Yeah. And like now I'm getting, like, I got like sucked into that place. Really? Like, they like you know me, like, who's banging who? No, not even that. No. Cause that's yeah. what I, that's, yeah. <laughs> I just like like they because well, like I was I worked at the summer camp there before and like I wasn't trying to work there again and I'm working there again this summer but like I'm like I'm doing like a higher position which is cool like I'm getting yeah. paid way more and then they even offered me I don't know if I'm gonna take it, I'm probably not going to they offered me like a like a TA position whoa yeah for next year Are and you I'm do just it? like I don't I don't know why I don't know I just is feel it, like I'm does I don't it pay more it pays way more than what I'm getting now but. I, don't, I just feel like I'm just getting sucked back into the school and I don't even, I don't uh, know. If like that's, in the long game? Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I want, I don't want to, I just, right now I don't think I want to be a teacher or anything, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, you could get comfy quick. Yeah. Because I think I've thought about it, I feel like I could definitely see myself being a teacher. Like, I fuck with that shit or like just doing something like in education, like, but I just, I, I sound greedy as hell. Like, I don't think, like, it just doesn't pay enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. And like I well, want how much do teachers pay, get paid? It's like probably, 30 or 40? Like, no, nah, it could probably be like 50. Oh, okay. But I think once, like, in the long run, like, once you have, like, a family and everything, I feel like 50, if I was making 50K right now, like, I'd be set. I'd be set for a yeah. couple of years, like, but I feel like once you have a kid and everything, and, like, you know, you start, like, doing bigger things, you start buying a house, like, that's not, there's nowhere, near, that's enough. There's this video, dude, this is kind of, this goes on a tangent. This guy's, like, he's a fucking billionaire. He's, like, going off. He's, like, talking about, he's, like, he's, like, everybody can be easily making 400K. Or like, you know, he, he writes 400 count on a, on a thing and he's like, he's like, I would be embarrassed if I was making this much a year. So like, I don't even understand how you could live off this. And I was like, bro, I could show you what I could live off of like 10% of that. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Like, you ever seen that video? I haven't seen that. I'll see if I, I think I should look. I think I downloaded it. Wait, what, what does he do? I mean, he's definitely, he's probably just doing, I mean, he's like, he's a billionaire, like a millionaire, like for sure. I think you've, you've probably seen his face before. Jordan Belfort. You guys could even live on that number. If I made 400 grand a year, I would be embarrassed with myself as a husband, a father, basically as a human being. 400 grand. How do you make sense of $35,000 a month? You have not done the math because you cannot live on 400 grand a year. Bro, I'm making... You make 400 grand a year. All you got to do is show up. I'm making $35,000 a year right now. <laughs> like, I think insane. I would be... Like, I feel like that'd be... I'd be happy with that. What's, what's the ideal amount of... Money, like right now or no, later like in life just in general like for life where you're like i feel like if i just get be if i'm able to do what i want and i make this amount of money yeah cool. i don't i don't think i have like a set digit because i mean like even right now like i'm saying like, i made a shitload of money like this month and it still doesn't feel like enough no oh. which is stupid like the fact that i was surviving on so little before so mm -hmm. it's like i don't think i'm ever gonna have like feel fulfilled like with like a certain number so it's like i think it was just saying as long as i could do what i want like as long as my bills are covered and like i can travel like i can live my life like then it's it's fine yeah you know what I mean? But like, there's, there's no, there's no like there's, annual salary. No, I don't think so. As long as like, yeah. as long as like, but I think also that comes to like being smart and everything too. He's like, somebody can start making, like I can, somebody, I can just get a job tomorrow. Yeah. Pays me 120 K a year. And it's like, if I'm not financially smart, it's like, I just make all my fucking, like I'm making, like, this is obviously like what I was living on before. This is what I'm living on now. But if like, if all my expenses just go up, yeah, then I'm going to be living the same way that I was living. Like, just like trying to get by and shit. So it's kind of like, it's being smart to like being financially literate. Yeah. And that's like, I thought that's like definitely like one of my goals for the year. Financial literacy. Yeah, for like financial literacy for Why, sure. Why, what do you think you're doing wrong right now? I mean, I don't think I'm necessarily doing anything wrong right now because I just think I haven't been making enough money. Oh, okay. But like, I want to be able to like make a decent amount of money, but like not be in the position where I'm like, oh, like I don't have money. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, so like, if, I, if I can survive like this, like I should definitely be able to survive on like making anything like more than what I'm making now. Like, so. Yeah. I've been told to read um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Oh, I read that. Yeah. What, is that? what is that? Like, what, what does that teach you? You could tell him. I don't. I read it after high school. I forgot. Oh, my. perfect. <laughs> All I know yeah, yeah. is I was like, yeah, this like is good just, information. What's the gist of it? Oh, wait, but one thing is like, it actually kind of counteracts what you say. Mm -hmm. It's don't think about what money you need to make. Think about what money you're making right now and adjust mm -hmm. to that. Yeah, exactly. Because that's, yeah, that's, yeah. I think that's the main thing. Yeah. So. So we could, uh. Do know. you think you're financially literate? I think I'm okay. Yeah. I don't think I'm like killing yeah. it. Yeah. But it's also like. My parents do help out mm -hmm. to a certain extent, yeah. but not like a crazy extent, but it's kind of yeah. like, I don't know blind. Like I have a friend who's like completely financially mm -hmm. independent and I'm like, fuck, that's yeah. crazy. Like yeah. college debt, car insurance, car, wild, yeah. rent, 
everything and that's uh that is, i don't yeah, think i'm there tough. yet so yeah yeah I, I have some friends that are there yeah seems like they're like managing it pretty well god damn i have my one friend who like opened up a carpet cleaning company mm-hmm. and they own like five vans to do the company is like it, they're doing well like they're doing it they're or, doing it and yeah. i see them in the strip club every day that's insane bro <laughs> and like they're killing it dude yeah. they're just like literally like our yeah. age you wait you're, but, you're in the strip club no my my friend <laughs> my <laughs> my friend who like has like a carpet clean company but you said i see them in the strip yeah club so that must mean day. that you're there like you're, you're watching them with your own eyes What's going on, hey, bro? Hey, cut this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram stories. I've said too much. <laughs> there's that. There's that thing of Shaq where he talks about like making that. Was it how much fucking money did he make? It was like three million. Like, when he, bought his, first he bought his family cars. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was just more like he didn't even really want cars. He just showed up to like the dealership. Yeah. And the dealer started kind of like talking like, "Bro, what are you? What are you gonna buy? You can even can you even afford this?" Mm-hmm. And he's like, "Can I afford this?" Both uh-huh. about three for no reason. Like, yeah, just to flex on him. Yeah. Then he ended up like really. So I think like he got it like in June. He got the check in June, and by like August, like his guy, his manager called him like, "Bro, like, you got no money left, bro." Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> it's been like three months. Like, what the fuck? Like, I feel like when I'm rich. I want an accountant. Like, mm-hmm. just that seems cool. Yeah. Because I know um, Chris Stefano said, like, he went out to go buy a watch, and then mm-hmm. he calls his accountant first to be like, hey, is this a dumb decision? Yeah. And then, like, they actually, like, advise him. But yeah. I also don't know how much accountants make. How much... Because you yeah. are losing I, money asking for advice. That's so true. How Unless much, it's, like, your boy you and you're just consulting. You mean how much are you paying them? Yeah. Wait, what? You mean how much are you paying them? Yeah, the accountant. Uh, my friend's an accountant. I don't know. I think... I, I, like I a, a per, like a personal accountant though, like or like for companies. I think it depends. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think it's too much though. Yeah. I mean, well, my friend right now, like straight out of high school, like not a high school, out of college, like he got his bachelor's. In account, he's making decent money. Yeah. Like in the eighties, uh, and dang. that's like that's like base. Like every his time, degree it, does he enjoy his job? No, he hates it. That's what I hear. Every time I like, <laughs> I meet someone our age where I'm like, wow, you're making that much money. Yeah. And then they're like, yeah. Yeah. Because I remember Tony Asenna said the same thing. It's mm-hmm. kind of like right now we're not like balling. Yeah. But, like, at least we're having fun yeah. and, like, getting, like, when we get a little bit of money doing what we like, it's yeah. kind of the craziest feeling yeah, ever. That's real. But, like, friends who are, like, doctors will sleep over, would sleep over at, like, his house in the valley mm-hmm. and hang out while they're making sketches. And they're like, this is the best yeah. life ever. So, that's insane. Yeah. yeah. All right. You got to wrap it up. Okay. So, we're good. Uh, yeah. I think we're good. You have any, uh, so Jared's wanna, doing stand up. Um, yeah. Put the dates right here. Yeah. Stand up in the park. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm doing stand up. Wanna, wait, 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 what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I have, I literally have no time this week. I'm going on like on. I'm going on. Hello. It just sounds really echoey now. I'm going on what's it called? Spring break after next week. No, spring break weeks. as I'm a 25 year old. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm going to what fucking San Diego. Fuck? Spring break. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> no, spring I'm kidding. Break? I'm kidding. No, I mean, I'm like the, the well, job I, I work at. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's gonna go on break. Uh, you're gonna go with him to two, San Diego. I have two, I have two, that was a joke. I'm you're gonna have two weird. weeks off. No, oh. so no, he, he's foreshadowing to our um episode that we never released where we went to San Diego. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. We that should finish fire, that. That was yeah, a fire episode. <laughs> that was amazing. That was a. Re- Alrighty, baby. That was the dawn of. You got anything? What were you gonna say? Your depression. My depression. Um, I want to be a good listener. Yeah. yeah, I think you are. I don't think you wouldn't really have like this podcast be going so well if you weren't a good listener. So take that with you. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Sorry, I spaced out. <laughs> <laughs> Inside your lips, I just grab this shit.